is the ability to be able to get up off of the floor without using your hands linked to helping you live longer. That's what a study in 2012 uh, from Brazil said is that it will decrease your biological age if you can do that. Is it absolutely true? Not, probably not really. Uh, there are too many other variables. However, is there value to being more graceful on getting up off of the floor? Absolutely. It's an indicator of having good, just strength in general, but especially your core and hip strength, hip mobility, and then grace, agility, balance, and all of these things are absolutely linked to uh, decreasing your biological age, living longer. I'm less concerned about living longer. I'm more concerned about living better. Um, less pain and better movement. And so what I'm gonna do in this video, I teach a lot of tips, tricks, strategies that would help somebody be able to get up off of the floor more gracefully. Some are gonna be um, a little bit more complicated for anybody who have got good strength, but maybe I wanna be able to do like a pistol squat, which is like a single leg squat. How far down can I go in a single leg and then come back up through here? That's very complicated. On the other end of the spectrum, I'm gonna talk about just some strategies, yoga type poses to get more hip mobility, some core strength um, that would, if practiced uh, uh, frequently enough, be able to improve your grace and finesse getting off of the floor and possibly without using hands. So here's what they recommend, and I'll just kind of show you is a starting point to get up off the floor without using your hands or coming up to your knees, crisscross the legs, and can you just sit down first? How far can you sit down? Can you come up here? And then what they want you to be able to do is can you cross under and then maybe you give a little bit of a push or a little bit of a swing forward, but can you come up there without using your hands? So let's tackle that part first. If that's a complete chore for you, probably just practice just squats. How far can you take your squat down? Can you go into um, what they call an Asian squat, sit down real deep in through here, maybe keep your hands and your knees connected. I like to push my hips back. This is a good, it looks weird, it looks kind of wild and crazy, but that's something nice to uh, help with that hip mobility, but just doing squats here. Maybe you find boxes, maybe a, a little uh, yoga block, maybe you find a book. Can you just practice sitting on something just a little bit elevated Keep your chest up and then come up there. So these are ways that you can practice just that uh, basic squat position. And you saw that I did what they call the pistol squat or the single leg squat. You just get a chair and just practice a how far down can I go? And then come up if you wanna do that single leg uh, version of it right there. Next, I've got what are called hip switches. These help with some finesse, some agility, and some mobility in the hips. First, option one, just lean back. You wanna get in through here, back and forth. They kinda of look like a little windshield wiper movement in here. To get this, just think, um, kinda of have your knees bent, and then just fall one way. Let both knees go this way here, and then let both knees go this way here. So you can use your hands for support behind you. You can try to uh, excel past or progress past without using your hands, and then finally, Maybe you can try to keep a little bit more upright. So don't bend through here, keep more upright and then do it here. And then here for anybody who, you know what? I don't necessarily need to be able to get up without using my hands, but maybe I could get to a knee and then come up. What you can do is keep that momentum going. We're here and then come up here, back down. This is a fantastic hip mobility drill and balance in coordination. So those are your 90-90 hip switches. If you want to regress, my hips are so tight. I've got hip arthritis. There's no way I can even do that. Lay down. You can do this here. Even put that there and work that there. This is really good just to mobilize those hips. While I'm down here like this, let me show you a good core exercise. We used to do these in jujitsu. So a lot of things that you want to do to get upright, you'll notice I kind of propelled myself forward a little bit. You want to get that um, going forward. You need that core strength. If you just do these little rocks and keep your chest up tall, these are called jujitsu rolls and they're gonna be great for your core. And notice how I just kind of tuck these legs. I just alternate. I have one knee bent over and then I'll just alternate the other one there all the while keeping my chest up right. Measure, see how many of these you can get before you fatigue and then see if you can double or even triple your number over the next two weeks. Um, 
And then finally, just think, so to strengthen the other side, our back, a lot of us just sit and we're tucked under like this. To strengthen these muscles, you just get upright. So you could have your knees bent and just practice getting upright, especially if you bring your arms up overhead. So this looks, if you do yoga, it looks like a staff pose. If you have tight hamstrings, you'll want your knees bent. Maybe every once in a while, see if you can get upright, bend those knees a little bit more. I have long legs and tighter hamstrings, so this starts to become a little bit more of a chore for me. But how, are, how high can you get those arms up? Do that, and then breathe, and maybe you hold those for 10 seconds at a time. Now, the most important rule, and the rule that I forgot to mention in the beginning, with all of these, to be successful, it needs to be consistently exploring your body. So I say be more childlike. Children, when, when they're toddlers learning how to walk, they don't judge themselves. They're not, ah, I couldn't get it. I, I, tried, I, tried, I tried to take a few steps and I fell down, so I'm not going to do that again. They have it in their heads, I am going to walk. Of course, I'm not speaking to themselves, but they have that intention. I'm going to walk. So they explore their bodies, they have fun with it, they're laughing, they fall down, they laugh, they do it again over and over again, and eventually they get up and do it. But it's that consistency, that non-judgment of yourself, and just working with these different exercises. So these are really good, again, a little bit of leg strength, a little bit of core strength, some balance, some agility, but these are little tips and tricks that I would recommend for you if you want to be more graceful getting up off of the floor.